cleaning up these trees here. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna have to take this load. Just trying to trying to kind of do some stuff with the bobcat first. Uh, get stuff out of the trees, pile, make piles here and there. And we'll come back with the payloader then and uh, pick up a lot of this stuff then and make some piles to burn. We decided to uh, pile up some of these trees, at least the ones closer to home. Pile them up and burn them sometime. Try to be careful I don't get something jammed in somewhere. It's always the stupid thing that darn thing's moving it. So that's what I'll be doing the rest of the afternoon pretty much. It's kind of snowing off and on and raining here and there. It's Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make a pile here. I think I'm kind of enough out of the slew where the payloader should be okay. I'll have to walk these these trees then. I only basically walked this tree. I didn't do much anywhere else on that day. Just uh, I figured, well, I'll have to walk them again once I get the uh, the trees piled up and everything. So I'll rewalk them then because I know I'm gonna have branches and whatnot everywhere yet. here so it's kind of kind of have to contend with that thing that kind of rough yeah we bought a snow blower for this thing that came last fall and haven't had to use it yet and I'm happy that thing has sat in the shed yet I'm happy <laughs> oh yeah that was a rock now there's a couple rocks here along the trees too dirt clods too. Okay, I gotta set here. Try to be careful. I don't want to really scratch the machine up either, and I don't really want to do that. I'm trying to be nice to it. You know, freaking uh, branches go through a window. Is it just an ice clod there, I guess. Yeah, we bought this bucket. This bucket we bought last year too. Clean up those logs around the uh, that slough last year, and amongst other products too and now, now, I'm, now I'm using it here now so this, <laughs> this bucket's coming in handy. We'll, we'll put more hours on this bobcat moving trees than we have moving snow this winter. Oh yeah you bugger get out of here. I do flip up for it. Good grief. Yeah you trees are something else sometimes. Trees are something else. Um, how do I get this thing out of here? It's hooked there. Might have to do one of these maneuvers. I hate doing this, but. <laughs> Same branches back again. Same branches back again. What in the heck? Ah, 
gosh. <laughs> what in the hell? Get out of here. Gosh, what a mess. I mean, it's, seriously, look at that. <laughs> it's just a mess. <laughs> just a slug of branches. Tripped on my hoses there. Wouldn't have been good. Yeah, I guess I'm taking it home. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna take it home and clean it off. Yeah, I was gonna leave the bobcat out here, but no, not if the, the tracks look like that. They weren't that bad about an hour ago. It's really bad on this side of the tree row, really bad for mud. Just slick. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, I might as well take it home. Clean it off. Probably about halfway done with this side. I got a, the other east half to do yet. Plus then it's, not all the trios were much to do, but that south one, first one I worked on has got to be a payloader and of course here too, and there's a couple other piles here and there where there's a lot of stuff down, but, but get home, get this cleaned up. I got some chores to do tonight yet too, so it's 5.30 already, so I don't have much, maybe an hour of daylight yet, so I don't want to really rip them out. I don't want to have to rip out those trios. It's, it takes a lot of fuel and and it's a lot of cleanup work then and the stumps and everything. It's pretty much just cleaning up as they go and when a trio gets not much left, then we'll tear tear down the rest of the trees then and call it a day then. So but I'd say I probably got well I got well I gotta finish up that north trio and then it's pick up branches here by hand then and while someone goes around with the payloader then whatnot there's there's a bit to do yeah, it's crazy so probably got a at least a solid afternoon on these trees 
heroes yet. I gotta finish with the Bobcat and then walk around and move with the stuff on the paler, at least sell it. And then I got probably a solid afternoon on some rented land. Then there's a healthy tree row there and two other rink and dink ones I gotta take care of. And, and then Dad worked on them already. The, there's some stuff up north. He got most of it taken care of. There's still there's some down branches, of course, and even lower up there. But I got the one tree row at the old farm yet to do that sometime. Probably need to haul the Bobcat over for sure, probably just in case need a trunk or something down. I don't know how other guys uh, have uh, handled track skid steers. I just, <laughs> especially in the wintertime, like in the summertime is one thing, things don't freeze, but this time of year though, any little, like say, there's a lot of mud on here. I got to say, I, I got to get that cleaned off. There's no doubt in my mind I got to get that cleaned off. So should have used just the, the, the other Bobcat, the S one S185, but it doesn't have the, it does have a, the third function on there one up, but it doesn't have a relief valve for the grapple on here though. I mean, it would work, but I'd have to be pretty careful though, because there's no no relief valve on it, so for running the grapple. So that one doesn't have that, I guess, supposedly, so. I don't know. Yeah, look at all those tree piles there. Ugly, ugly. And I could have done a way better job on this. There's still a lot of stuff like in the trios yet. But there's just there's only so much time a guy has though. You know, just 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 one of those things. Just getting the stuff that's easy to get out and everything, piling it up easy, quickly, and about it. Yeah, probably whenever I do finish up that last year, I'll probably haul it out with the trailer and the pickup. Then I'll probably end up going down to the other set of trios then to it same day probably, I'm sure. So, it just takes so long to get around with these things. So, it just puts it along though. I don't, I don't run it full speed. There's zero point. I just don't like doing it. It's just. Yeah, it's still, look at all this stuff just getting around. See, it's still, it's still muddy. That's after. You see how most of the mud out. It's just from the remnants. It sucks. Freaking mud. It just, just bothers me. It's all, it just bothers me. Seen it like that. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as it was before, but it's from all the water, mud that got stuck still in places yet. But that's about ten times better than it was before. It'll probably get dirty again. So don't know when we're gonna finish. Maybe we'll might do some stuff maybe on Wednesday or maybe Thursday. Kitty, what are you back there for? Yeah, I know you gotta wait. Yeah, I know you're waiting for stuff. The payloader here, a couple problems with it. Um. Hydraulic filter said it's restricted. I'll have to replace that probably, or it's the sensor. There's a couple other fault codes on there that actually quite an extensive fault code history on there. A couple things. One thing is being the remember as I mentioned before, these lights flickering when you press the the brakes in. Yeah, it does. Error code does come up on the screen saying short to ground or something. So that's been going on for a while. Handful of other codes on there too. Something to do with the coolant temperature on this thing being high, and something with the EGR then too. That must have been when they were when they replaced some stuff on here. So before we had it here. So so hope I can do some more fence fixing tomorrow. I hope. Let's look at stuff. Stuff. So keep going on that, and I gotta kind of hunker down a little bit. Stuff. I'm just gonna just gonna be by myself tomorrow. Don't know how much snow we're going to get. Could get nothing. Could get a foot. I don't know. I don't know. I just hate seeing all that. I just hate getting mud, so much mud on the tracks. So I hate that. So it'll need a detail work this spring then. We get kind of get done with spring work and whatnot. I feel kind of bad leaving it the way it is. But <laughs> so so much a guy can do is say, I got no water. Because, you know, other stuff like, you know, when it was so mucky there, you know, the tractors feeding cows, we just drive the tractors through the water, clean the tires off really good, and go in the sheds then. But yeah, that's usually what we usually do with stuff. But there's no, all the water's frozen right now again, and there isn't much water to really drive through right now. So, because I would take that thing through some water, but like I say, don't have any to drive through. So, but yeah, I suppose like I say, I. Feel kind of bad leaving it the way it is. It's not my bobcat. 
try to take care of it the best I can, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, Kitty. Come on. Let's go.